How do you know for sure if someone wants to have sex with you? Well, if they're having sex with you, you can be pretty sure they want to have sex with you. Why do you ask? Well, actually, there's only one way. They need to tell you. Well, that's just not true. See, if some chick's rubbing her wet vajayjay all over your knob, it means she wants to have sex with you. And anyway, I get the impression that what you're really asking is, how can a guy tell if a girl wants to have sex with them? Because if this was aimed at girls, the answer would be simple. If he has a boner, he wants to have sex with you. You need to have consent. Who needs to have consent? The guy, the girl, or both? Because both would be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Do you want to have sex with me? Yes. Do you want to have sex with me? Yes. Well, I assume it'd have to be both because gay people. But what does consent really mean? Consent means both parties are really... Oh, homos! ...truly into what's going on. Now, before the homophobic lynch mob assembles, I'd like to make it absolutely clear that I'm not homophobic. I have homosexual friends and homosexual family members, but as a heterosexual male, I do kind of get a feeling when I see two men kissing or doing anything sexual that makes my face screw up and my penis retract a little bit. I was just born that way. Now I accept that gay people are born the way they are, and hold no ill feelings or prejudices against them for that, so I would naturally assume that they would extend the same level of tolerance to me. This means that nobody is being guilted or pressured into doing anything. Silence does not equal consent. What if you're a mute? Some people think it's not rape unless there's fighting, screaming, or someone yelling no. But that's not true. Communication doesn't always happen with words. Well, there's sign language, but you just said silence doesn't equal consent. Make up your fucking mind. Body language can say a lot if you pay attention. Are they leaning in or are they pulling away? Do they look happy or do they look uncomfortable? Oh, mate, is a trigger warning too much to ask? Are they kissing you back or are they just staying kind of still? You have to pay attention to all the signals. This includes body language and words. No one can read minds, so it's always good to talk about it. Asking for consent doesn't have to be awkward. Asking for consent can actually be kind of sexy. Want to show me your bedroom? Yes, I literally want to show you my bedroom, but don't you dare go getting all rapey in there. Show me where you want me to touch you. <laughs> Smooth. Do you want to help me take these clothes off? Fuck off. I've got my own clothes to take off, you lazy bitch. Now, do you want to fuck me or not? So, let's break this consent thing way down. Yeah, I think we better, just so I've got it down pat. Rape was a good thing, yeah? One, everyone's clear about what's about to happen next, and they're happy about it. If you're making out with someone for the first time and you want to go further, Check in first. Can I take your shirt off? Sure. But don't you dare assume that that's my consent. You've got to be explicit about these things. Wanna try something different? No. Get out of my fucking bedroom. Two. Everyone in the situation has to feel free to be able to say no without being pressured or hassled. It's not cool to pressure people into doing stuff they're obviously uncomfortable with or make them feel bad for saying no or wanting to stop things. Being pushy or manipulative makes for some pretty bad sex. Or some pretty good BDSM, depending on how you look at it. And obviously, if a person is drunk, high, passed out, or asleep, it's not okay to do sexual stuff with them. They can't consent when wasted or unconscious. So doing this is actually rape. Hey, hang on. Before I met Sugar Tits, I remember bringing girls home after we both got shit-faced. So, did she rape me? Did I rape her? Or did we rape each other? Three. Be honest about whether or not you're on birth control, have an STD, or having sex with other people. Wouldn't you want to know that? If you're going to get naked with someone, you have to have trust and honesty. Nobody trusts a hooker. Four. Saying yes to sex once doesn't mean you're saying yes to it forever. It may be tough to pause in the middle of some super sweet action. <laughs>
<laughs> but your partner has the right to stop at any time. And five, sex is all about connections and pleasure, right? If everyone feels respected, sex will be much better for both of you. We all deserve a safe, pleasurable, and awesome sex life. The more res- Mate, for fuck's sake. Respect you show to the other person, the more they'll trust you enough to relax and enjoy. And the more honest you are about what you want and don't want, the better things will go. It's easy to talk about what consent means, but what does it look like in real life? How are we supposed to know for sure how far someone wants to go or if they want to get intimate at all? Uh, um, uh, uh, uh are, are, you are you serious? You just like did a, did a whole video of telling me. Check out our other videos for tips on how to do this consent thing right. Yeah, um, nah.